Connecting you with the community on the West Island, I am here with Maxime Bernier, head of the People's Party of Canada and a sitting MP for the riding of both. Welcome to the West Island. Thank you very much. I'm very happy to be here. We are here with Dario De Felice. He is a stagiaire for the West Island blog this summer. Thank you for coming out, Dario. Very happy to be here. Okay, so we will get right down to it. Maxim has quite a charge. We are at the uh, St. Raphael Golf Club, by the way, and Maxim is having a, an event tonight. Um, the West Island is made up of diverse uh, population. We are a very, very mixed community here. Your, one of your platform promises is to preserve the, the values and the culture of the Canadian people. Will you be able to balance that for us on the West Island? Absolutely. You know, uh, this country has been built by immigrants, like Francophone, Anglophone, First Nation, people from Europe, from Asia, from Africa, and they all came here under uh, an immigration system that uh, allow them to come in on points and that's important we don't have that anymore we want to have fewer immigrants but we want to be sure that the people who will come here will share our Canadian values like they did in the past that's so important for the uh, for, for for the future of our country so that's why we have a position on immigration that is very different than the other uh, politician we want people who can share our values and and, and that's what happened in the past that's what happened the last uh, uh, 50 years now with the Trudeau government Government, they all change that. Usually when you came here, if you speak English, you had more points. If you speak French, you had more points. Now it, it that's, does not exist anymore. So we need to change that, to go back and having fewer immigrants, but immigrants that will come here and share our Canadian values. Okay, thank you so much. Healthcare, another big concern for those on the West Island. We have the Lakeshore General Hospital Foundation, uh, uh, Hospital uh, exists here in Kirkland and it, is, it was designed to receive a quarter of the amount of people that it actually serves today. Is there a way that you're talking about uh, wait times and costs yeah. for healthcare? How is that going to help us out on the West Island? But you're right saying that Canada is one of the worst uh, waiting times for surgery in a uh, OECD country, in Western uh, country like in Europe. Uh, and what we need to have, we need to have a kind of a mixed system with private delivery and public delivery. But we won't do that reform us at the People's Party of Canada because healthcare it's a 100% provincial jurisdiction. So the solution to that is to give to provinces the way to fix their healthcare system. And we'll do that by transferring tax point, by transferring all the, 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 the incomes, the, the revenues that the federal government is receiving under the GST. So they will have $40 billion. The federal government won't raise that money. It will go directly to provinces. And like that, they will be able to invest more in healthcare or developing uh, alternative services like uh, more private clinics or things like that. But I cannot solve the the wait time uh, in Canada because we don't manage any hospital at the federal level. It's a 100% provincial jurisdiction. We want to respect that, but we'll give provinces the means to do it by transferring the GST to provinces. I see. That's okay. Thank you so much. Now, Dario is a youth in our community and he has two questions for you today, and I'm going to hand the mic over to him for quite a second. Hi, uh, Maxim. Um, how should uh, the West, why should the West Island youth? Um, uh, be faithful in your party uh, to help them. But first of all, I think uh, you must look at our platform. You must go on our website, People's Party of Canada. That's it. To, to understand our platform. We are doing politics differently. We don't try to please to everybody. We're doing politics based on principles, uh, individual freedom, personal responsibility, respect and fairness. But the most important for the youth in this country is to be able to balance the budget as soon as possible. We have huge deficit right now, and we are the only party who, uh, 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 that wants to balance the budget in two years and would be able to do that. The conservative, the liberal, the NDP, they, don't, they won't balance the budget in one term. They will maybe balance the budget in two terms in five years. So we have a huge deficit right now, $40 billion a year. And the cost, the only the interest on our debt, it's about $22 billion. Imagine what we can do with $22 billion a year, but we have to pay interest on our debt right now. Let's be responsible and balance the budget because 
you will have to pay for this deficit without having any services because the majority of the deficit is going to social services. So when the interest rate will go up, because we know that the interest rate will go up, the cost for the federal government will be, will be uh, bigger instead of $22 billion, it can be $30 billion. So that, that will put at risk our social programs in Canada. So that's why we must be responsible, balancing the budget in two years, and like that, that will help you. You'll be able to live in a freer and a more prosperous country country, but right now you will have to pay for this deficit without having any benefits on, 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 uh, because it's, the deficit are not going on roads or bridge or things like that. They're going on new programs and social programs. So uh, that, that's not responsible, the position of the liberals and the conservative right now on the budget. Thank you uh, very much. And we would also like to know um, how will your party address the, dink, the decline in um, newspaper um, media, so people getting their news from the newspaper and the, the increase in news on social media, just like uh, the West Island blog. Well, first of all, you know, we want to be fair with everybody. That's a principle in our platform. And I think we want the media to be independent from the government, not dependent from the government. What the Trudeau government are doing right now, they're, they're, they want to be sure that uh, the newspaper and uh, the huge traditional media in this country will be dependent from the government with that farm. So we won't do that. We'll abolish it. And, and, and you know, we, we want the, the traditional media to be successful. But it's not, we, we don't have the magic solution. In, in Ottawa for that, and, and but I, at the same time, I don't want to uh, spend taxpayers' money to help some media. Why I will help, uh, I don't know, uh, uh, the Toronto Star and not helping uh, your, your media here. So that's not fair, and we will abolish that, and I hope that I like competition and competition of ideas, and what you're bringing here to Canadian is competition, new kind of information. And that's great. If you're good, you'll have a lot of followers. If not, you won't. So that's the free market, and uh, that's life. Thank you very much. Thank you for coming out today to the West Island. Do you have anything in particular you want to say to the up to 400,000 people that live out here on the West Island of Montreal? Right. First of all, I want them to be sure for the next election to go on our website. You know, we're doing politics differently. Read our platform. Uh, we don't try to please everybody. We just have bold reforms that will be good for this country. Balancing the budget, lower taxes, uh, 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 lower, uh, fewer immigrants, uh, but, but people who are coming more economic immigrants. We need to have more economic immigrants. Right now, we receive only 26% of our immigrants are economic immigrants. We want to increase that to 50%, but globally, we'll have fewer of them. So that's important. They must go and, and read our platform. And I'm asking them, don't vote against something. Thing. Vote for what you believe in. Vote for something. Vote for your values. And if you do that, I think you'll like our platform at the People's Party of Canada. All right. Take a look at that. Thanks for coming out today. Thank you. Thank you very much.